Hey YouTube, Stupid Head 1001 here, and this is Super Mario Sunshine Playthrough Episode 48. As you can see, Delfino Plaza is still flooded. And that cave back there is finally open. That's the entrance to the game's final level, C Corona Mountain. We're finally gonna go there. But first, let's take a tour of flooded Delfino Plaza. So, yep, as you can see, it's flooded. Ever since we beat Shadow Mario for the last time in episode 7 of Pianta Village. So, yeah, it's kind of cool to swim around in areas where you couldn't usually swim around. The island is completely underwater. Note how we can't we can't actually use the cannon to go to Pina Park, of course. The only worlds we can actually access while it's flooded are Serena Beach and Pianta Village, because they're the ones that you just have to go to in the pipes for. The M that takes us to Rico Harbor is gone from the boathouse. This, this some um, pillar thing is completely underwater. That island is also submerged. Let's go out there. There's the gold bird that, get, that gave us the shine sprite. Remember that? There's the pipe with the Yoshi goop, which obviously we can't get Yoshi out here now. So, can't go there. Most of these green cylindrical rocks are completely underwater, except that one and this one with the green pipe. M is gone from the lighthouse that takes us to Gelato Beach. This place is completely flooded. Can't get into Noki Bay, of course. Here's the Piata that was stranded out at the island. He just followed the current. I thought he said he can't swim. Wonder what that means. And here's all the fruit and the fruit bending piantas. They actually found a place to put all their fruit, but they didn't find a place to put the nozzle boxes, which is annoying. They just found a place for the rocket nozzle. Would have been a lot easier to get back into Pianta Village with the flood. Here's Yoshi. He's still here. Let's take him out for one last spin, just to say goodbye. I know I said to say goodbye to him in the last episode, but let's just take him for one last spin. He wants a pineapple. There's Darian's there. 
So let's see if I could. I guess I could just. There's Yoshi. Let's enjoy our final outing with Yoshi. As you can see, the end is gone from the Pianta statue, so no more Bianco Hills either. Yoshi deserves something special, so let's just eat all this fruit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's, yeah. Yeah, let's just get it all. Who cares if you're supposed to pay for it? Besides, it's fun watching Yoshi change color so quickly. Alright, there we go. I think that's enough fruit. Alright, so, say goodbye to Yoshi. I'll just use him to smash this crate. It was a lot of fun. He got us a lot of blue coins and even a couple shine sprites. We'll miss him. Well. Bye, Yoshi! There he goes. I'll miss him. We're on top of the Pianta statue. And as you can see, Bianco Hills, the end is gone. It's already been established. Only places, like I said, we could still go to our Serena Beach and Pianta Village. So I guess this concludes our tour, which means it's finally time to enter the final level in the game, Corona Mountain. This will also unflood Delfino Plaza. Is she just is she just now noticing that the sky is brighter? Got brighter many, many episodes ago. There's Shadow Mario, aka Bowser Jr. in case you forget. So as you can see, here's our shine sprite total. We've gotten every shine sprite in the first seven worlds. Also, you can see it got all the blue coins. All 30 of them in every level. All right, so it's time to head in. Let's do this. Take a last look at flooded Delfino Plaza. The final level. I'm not exactly sure how we got here. Maybe we dropped down from a tunnel above. That's probably it. Now we're not here to actually fight the final boss, we're actually we're just here to get the blue coins. We still have some unfinished business to take care of before we can finally fight Bowser and rescue Princess Peach. There's the first one. It's kind of a freebie. The other ones will not be that easy. There's a total of ten of them. Add that to the nineteen from Delfino Plaza. 
plus the one final blue coin that I'm not going to reveal yet. That'll be in the next episode. And we've got another 30 blue coins, so that's... Combine that with the 30 from the other 7 world, and that's a total of 204. Alright, so now we need to control this mud boat here. I'm not that good at it, so I might die a couple times, and we'll have to get up, get back here from the beginning. So be patient, please. If I crash it into a rock or the wall, it sinks. I fall into the lava and I die. You probably already know all that, though. Almost to the blue coins. There they all are, floating above the lava around this island. There are nine of them, plus the one we got earlier makes ten. So let's start over here. Keep in mind, I'm probably going to have to restart a lot. That was kind of close. Here's our first one. That sprinkler was there. Needed, kind of needed a refill. Here's the next one. Uh-oh. Whoa, looks like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Literally. See if I can get this one. Just a little farther. Got it. Four more. This is going to be close. Not a lot of room to maneuver here. Go 
almost there. Is that another blue coin back there? Oh, it is. This is going to be tricky. be able to do this. Mud boat. Let's just land on this island. There, that's what happens. Alright, now if we took the rocket nozzle, we'd be able to go up there to fight the final boss. That's not for this episode, though. Like I said, we still have some unfinished business. So there's the way we came. See back there. Now let's get out of here. Finally, Delfino Plaza's back to normal. No more flood. That's better. All right, so yeah, that was that was a pretty good episode. Very close to being done with this game. This is a good shot. Alright, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, please. So yep, yeah, stay tuned. Almost done. And this is Stupid Hit 1001, signing off.